Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I device help here today. In this video, I want to share with you guys my top 10 favorite Cydia tweaks and applications that I must download. Again, these are my personal favorites, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first one you might have heard of already, of course, it goes by the name of OXO. It's a great multitasking tool that you can find for the iOS platform. It gives you which applications are running in the background and what's happening at that particular moment that the application is running in the background. Uh, of course, you also get also music controls, a better layout for your music controls and things like that. And you also get toggles, things like uh, flashlight, uh, Wi-Fi on and off, and things like that. You can set here and customize to your liking. And also gives you a brightness toggle and also a AirPlay or AirPlay. Uh, toggle if you have an Apple TV. So that is OXO. Of course, I do recommend OXO because it's a really great multitasking tool, and you can find it in the City Store. Now the next one is more of a fun uh, tweak. It goes by the name of Barrow. Now Barrow, if you jump into the Settings application. Uh, you get an extension here, and you can go ahead and uh, select which type of animation you would like for your uh, page scrolling. Uh, as you can see there, when I scroll through my pages, I get this nice, cool animation uh, that goes along with whatever I select here on my extension. My favorite is Carousel. I'll go ahead and leave it at that. And uh, as you can see there, it helps. Uh, it gives you a fun-looking uh animation when you swipe through pages something you cannot do without jailbreaking of course uh, that is barrel I think you guys should go check it out it's really cool and it gives you guys uh, better customization over your page swiping I really do like it now the next one I wanted to cover uh, goes by the name of color keyboard it's really self-explanatory uh, you get an extension here in, se uh, in the settings application of course you go here and se select a theme now if you have a theme that comes with a keyboard, the, uh, the theme also would uh, appear on the top. But they also have uh, a bunch of uh, keyboards that you can pre-select from. I got the black uh, keyboard because I think it goes great with the black iPhone. But once you select the one you'd like and you tap back, you hit save here up top. And it will uh, help, uh, tell you to respring your device. And you will have a new color keyboard on your device. Again, I'm using the black one because I think it goes the best with my black iPhone 5, which is the one I'm using for this video. And it's really, really cool. Again, that is Color Keyboard. Of course, you can find that one in the City Store as well. The next application that I've wanted to cover, I think it's a really, really cool one. It goes by the name of Groove Shark. I've, uh,. I've talked about this application before in some other videos. Now, this application pretty much just helps you download any song that you would like. Uh, go ahead and select here an artist that everyone knows, Michael Jackson. Let's go ahead and uh, you can download any song, and then by swiping, and as you can see there, the green progress bar as it downloads, and then you can pretty much save it to your iPod's library. All right. So once that da the song is done downloading, it's going rather slow right now, uh, you can go ahead, it'll be on your uh, uh, offline options. You can go ahead and tap on the song and add it to your music library on your, uh, on your music application itself. Let me go ahead and remove uh, any song that I have here. Okay, so no songs here. As you can see, I'm going to delete them all. Let's go ahead and delete the songs. Okay. So there it is. No music in my music app. Once you download any song from Groove Shark, you can go ahead and import it to your uh, music library there on your iPod's uh, music. So also go ahead and import that one as well, so I can have more than one. Go ahead and import that, and done. Now I do have, like I said, another video on this. If you'd like to figure out how to do this, really, really simple. Uh, and now it supports iOS six. And if I go into my music application, there is both songs that I just imported, and I can download any song I want from Groove Shark uh, and listen to it on my uh, on my uh, music application, the native music application of your iOS device. Which brings me to my next tweak that I wanted to share with you guys, which goes by the name of Ringo. I believe it's called. It's called now Ringo. You also get an extension in settings. Uh, Right here in active active menu, action menu, you get Ringo, make sure that is selected to on. What this does is uh, right on your music application, uh, any song that you have in there, you can go ahead and hold down on it. And you get this new menu and just hit Ringo. And you get a brand new interface that you can make custom ringtones. And it's really, really cool. You can go ahead and uh, select whichever section of the song that you would like and make your own custom ringtone from it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a custom ringtone of this song here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, it's not, let me, there we go. There we go. 
So let's say I want that section there. All right, say I want that section of the ringtone there and go ahead and play it. It'll play that part of the song and then if I'm satisfied with it, I can just go ahead and save ringtone and that would save it to my ringtone section here on my uh on my sounds options for my iPhone itself. So right here ringtones and right there is the same title and the ringtone that I've just created while well, created before making the video actually. Uh now, so that is uh, Ringo and Groove Shark, which is a nice combination of applications to one, download music and send it to your iPod's library, and two, create your own custom ringtones and make them straight on your device on the go. So you can go ahead and check out both of those tweaks and apps in Cydia. Now, my next application goes by the name of MyY. Now, MyY is probably the best way of sharing your internet's data plan as a Wi-Fi hotspot with other devices. Now, if you have a data plan on your device, whether you're unlocked or not, whatever, as long as you have data on your device, you can switch this toggle to on, and MyY will share your internet connection or your data connection with uh, devices like iPads, uh, iPod Touches, uh, MacBooks, and things like that. You can also do it through USB. You connect your device by USB to the computer, and that will share the uh, or the data plan with your laptop or iPad, whichever one you decide to use it with. Now, a quick note for AT&T Unlimited Data Plan users. If you have an unlimited data plan with AT&T here in the United States, this could cost you from losing that. So keep that in mind for AT&T customers with unlimited data plan only. So that is the best way to share your internet data plan uh, with any other devices such as iPads and things like that. So my next tweak goes by the name of photo filter now uh, photo filter is really really nice tweak uh, that you can go ahead and select a picture that you take from your device this is a theme that I had on my device I took a screenshot of it up here you get a filters button which is a new option there and just like Instagram in a way you can go ahead and select different filters for your pictures and you can go ahead and save them once you decide whichever one filter that you would like by hitting the save button up top and that would save that a particular picture uh, to your camera roll with a nice cool filter effect again kind of like an Instagram kind of thing so that is photo filter now my next application that I wanted to share is really really cool it's called universal video downloader now pretty much what this application does is right here on the bottom you can go ahead and select app and you can enable every single application if you like or if you switch that to off you can enable any application in particular to download any video off the web whether it's YouTube, Vivo, uh, off Safari, whatever uh, you can download any music video uh, from the internet by switching all applications or selecting any uh, uh, of these applications in particular here that you would like to have these uh, options work for you now you also have extra settings here that you can customize to your liking such as uh, also audio and also uh, high quality uh, video and you can, once you download them you have a download progress section here and you also have the downloads here on this section I have not, not downloaded any yet but that is a cool way to download videos and music uh, to your device as well with universal video downloader now the next uh, tweak that I would like to cover is what probably one of the most famous tweaks in Cydia goes by the name of Cypher uh, Cypher also has options here that you can customize to your liking. I've already preset these options for my uh, device. And now, also, Cypher is really good because it helps you get around the OS without having to use the home button. If you have a bad home button, this could help you and save you a lot. Uh, now, if you can swipe up here, as you can see, I'm swiping up from this section here without using the home button, it reveals my multitasking bar. Uh, now, if you're with an in application like so, settings or something, or Safari, you can swipe through uh, applications by just simply doing that, and you don't have to uh, use the home button at all. And also, if you want to quit the application that you're in, all you got to do is swipe up, and it brings you back to the home screen. Uh, now, also here from the top, as you can see, uh, the notification center, instead of the notifications dropping, the actual screen drops. I don't know if you can depict that. Uh, instead of the notifications dropping from the top, it's actually the screen coming up from the bottom and taking over, as you can see there. Uh, so that is Cypher, probably one of the most famous tweaks in Cydia. It's really, really cool. I really do recommend, especially if you're having problems with your uh, with your devices, uh, a home button. That is a great uh, tweak that you can download from Cydia. Again, that is Cypher. Now, the last application that I wanted to cover for you guys 
is a uh, 3G unrestricted. Now, if you're like me and your carrier does not allow you to make FaceTime calls over th uh, 3G, then this application is for you because what this application does is it fools the network. It fools the application into thinking that it's connected to Wi-Fi and it allows you to make FaceTime calls over 3G even though you're not on the Wi-Fi. For example, uh, AT&T does not allow me to do FaceTime calling over Wi-Fi, so if I enable this, uh, it'll tell my device that my uh, phone is connected to Wi-Fi even though it's not, and I can make the 3G uh, video call. Uh, now you can go ahead and hit that edit button up top and hit the plus to add any other application to get better uh, you know, better results in, in terms of if you're not allowed to do something over 3G, uh, you can go ahead and uh, if your carrier does not allow you, because it's usually a carrier thing, uh, then you can go ahead and fool the device into thinking that it is connected to Wi-Fi and uh, it go ahead and, and do whatever you'd like, such as uploading videos and things of that nature. Uh, for example, the App Store, you can't download bigger files over 3G. It will not allow you to. This application will enable that as well, such as uh, and other things such as photo stream syncing over 3G and things like that. So uh, enough of that. These are all my favorite tweaks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up if you have found it helpful and it helped you out in somewhat. I hope I didn't bore you guys. It is a long video, but it is some of my favorite tweaks. You guys have asked me for this. Don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS devices, of course, by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. I'll have some sources and some information in the video description for you guys so you can download some of these tweaks for yourself if you'd like. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.